Hi, so here's uh, another strabismus update and um, I've had quite an improvement uh, quite suddenly this last week so I'm going to dive straight into that. Um, what I've started doing all of a sudden is instead of moving my whole head to look at things, I'm trying to move just my eyes. Um, and suddenly that has really um, started working. Um, so this kind of happened quite by accident last week. Um, I was doing some sums at work and I was copying, um, I can't remember whether I was copying from that sheet to that sheet. Um, I had the calculator over here. Um, so normally what's, what usually happens is my face just goes closer and closer um, to the table. Well, my face used to go closer and closer to the food, to the television, um, whatever. <laughs> so that, that was just a, a behaviour, so I've still got a bit of that. But instead what happened, instead of moving my head... I actually moved my eyes to look down and then suddenly everything just got a whole lot clearer and I was I, I actually ended up pushing um, my chair back a little bit um, so my eyes were suddenly starting to work like they were supposed to um, so that is my big breakthrough and Obviously, I'm trying to continue with that, but it's kind of like because that one thing has clicked, the the other things that I've been doing have fallen into place a lot more. So it feels very easy and um, natural. Um, so what I was doing before, which I've covered in my other videos, is where are we? Um, I used this. Um, Obviously, these are plus glasses, so this puts a bit of extra power, um, more plus, onto the affected eye. Um, so whether it's fogging out or whether it's actually giving it more plus that it needs, I, I don't know, but it, it helps. Um, it helps me keep a better posture, it helps me use my eyes better so I just put that on for an hour or two um, a little patching um, not not so much um, but when I patch I, I just do it for 20 minutes or so no no more just to kind of kick start um, the brain and the eye to get them coordinating a little bit um, so um, Coming back to putting my face into everything and turning my head. Um, so, some children um, rely on their peripheral vision a bit more. Maybe I was one of those children, um, I've, I've no idea, but certainly I was one of those kids, if I was eating, my, my face would go into my food. Um, my face would go right up to the television um, if I was reading my head would be in the book um, now I'm actually long sighted so that in itself is uh, paradoxical and um, in one of my earlier videos I think it's one of the, the optician horror story videos um, my glasses weren't actually very well fitting. They were, at the time, um, sort of the, the lenses were a bit like that, so I could kind of push my whole finger um, up under the lens, and I was complaining to a friend, and I was saying, well, look how it's making me read, and I was putting my chin right down in, into my neck because that was the only way I could literally look through these 
glasses. They, they were so badly fitted. Um, and the optician didn't seem to think there was anything wrong with them. Um, but apart from going, ew, ow, don't do that, it's painful looking at it from my friend, she also noticed, hold on, you're, you're not looking through the centre of your glasses. And I can't remember whether she thought I was looking through the top part or the bottom part. I, I think it was the top part, the, the way I bent my head down um, so much. Um, and that's kind of just come back to me, like recently, oh, was, was I using my peripheral vision to do a lot of things and perhaps turning my whole head, um, which is, now if I've just kind of done that ever since, is going to be a bit of a reflex, which could have explained why um, when I've had sort of clear flashes of being able to see, my whole body will just jerk away because that's what I'm used to doing to be able to see things probably without glasses. Um, so fighting that impulse without having anything to to put there it, it's not that obviously wasn't working so well so finding other things like the three things I was doing the patching the lens and also the um, kind of looking about four inches past everything with this eye and I think that's that in itself has got my posture a bit better so that my head stays straight while my eyes move a bit more. Um, so, um, to recap for anyone who's, who's watching and, you know, has a strabismus the same that is awkward, they can't really control it. Um, okay, mine is very small in, you know, in the general run of things. So my eye moves upwards and outwards when there's a trigger. So, you know, other people's eyes might move in a different direction. Um, and I find the best thing I can do is if I'm having a bit of a wobbly moment, is keep the head straight and just look down there. So about f four o'clock. Um, so when I went to the opticians, um, this this was the guy who gave me the cycloplegic um, test. But when he first, f first of all, I just read the letters through my normal glasses, which were a pair of fours that. I picked up from a shop basically and what was happening was I could see it some of the times but then then it would blur out um, so possibly I was having kind of like moving my head a little bit which was blurring out the focus um, but probably not enough to be immediately obvious to, to an optician, um, but obviously he did see that I had a need for really high glasses. So um, this is this is what he's done for me. So really thank you that optician. Um, so my point here re really is. Um, visual therapy w would have really helped work with the glasses at that point. Um, but in the UK, I mean, even the good opticians, they're not 
it's not kind of a joined up service. I, I would have certainly, um, I would have spent money on visual therapy because if I'd had it, maybe I would have been able to drive. Um, because for me, going from long focus to short focus, that that's difficult. Um, I have driven a car, but it was uncomfortable that I, I just stopped doing it. Um, my focus would have been better regarding jobs, s stuff like that. Um, but the services just are not joined up in, in that sort of way. And I, I'd love to see that change because that would really help people if the optician could just say, um, here is such and such and such list of visual therapies maybe the, these can help you where I can't. Um, that, that'd be a really good idea. So <clears throat> this is something I've had to do for myself and I think at the moment for those of us who've got strabismus uh, you know we've got to do it for ourselves. So that is my update of today. Um, I am really really pleased with, you know, I feel much more settled. Um, I, my eyesight has generally lengthened out a lot suddenly because this eye has come round to a better position. So you know, if anyone out there can take something from that and these ideas help them, um, then that is really great.